Hello, Russian me and welcome back to some more Umineko when they when the seagulls cry. Um just opened up the or as I went to save it from last time, opened up this and noticed uh that these were here. So I've read through them quickly. Um I'll just switch to them so you can have a look. And you, again you can always just pause to read through these. And yeah, this part was interesting. Um so that explains um his relationship with or at least somewhat with his father's wife. Uh not actually her son. Um he's and yeah, George is the oldest of the four cousins. Let's see, are there any tips? Nope. Okay. So let's continue. So you know, Tokui no yo? This woman is my father's wife. Her name is Rushmiya Kire. As you can probably tell from our conversation, she's not my real mother. She's basically my stepmother. My real mum died six years ago, and Kire is for the woman dad married afterwards. What do you mean, basically? She is. <laughs> stepmother. It's understandable for someone my age. I could never bring myself to call this his new wife mum. And I doubt she feels like using the word son or this massive kid who's no relation to her at all. We aren't little kids. We know there's nothing to be gained by fighting. So we decided that we wouldn't force ourselves to pretend that we were family. I've decided to act a bit more frank with her, acting as though she's a friendly neighbour instead. <laughs> it's much easier if we keep just keep a little distance instead of forcing ourselves to act all close and making each other uncomfortable. Kiria san has always been very open about all this, and thanks to that, we've been able to get along pretty well. Then, just when we were bad mouthing dad about being in the bathroom, the man himself came back, wiping his hands with the handkerchief. Hmm? That wasn't the face I was expecting. Hmm. <laughs> Battle, eh? I was expecting him to look older, I'll be honest. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
Oh, the older sister who could deal out punishment to him despite his size. Evanessa, so no cry, Nishita, get a good side. Ona Jibun, out of the Hantai no Mimi or Atashina Hippat and Obasto Kimas no de. Ara, go me in the sine. Kiriza no Hipparum, no costo can a good job. Seems like those two get along well. Rudolph, out of the tap, pretty. キリエさんにお仕置きしてもらいなさいね。たく。姉貴こそ弟いじめもいいとこだぜ。秀吉兄さんもこんな姉貴を拾ってくれて本当にありがとうございます。兄さんの寛大さがなかったら今でもまだ
子供の病気の方が大事よわしな吐く風邪に大きく薬知っとんや帰ったらすぐ送るさかい使うてくれやありがとうございます秀吉兄さんいつもお世話になりっぱなしで And once the conversation suddenly veered off in that direction, we kids didn't have any chance of butting in. For now, I'm just happy Aunt Ever gave Dad his just desserts for tugging on my ear. Mada, Tenko Chosa Chunga Nakunara Nine. George Anaki pointed at the counter. We're checking whether Sign was still stuck next to the departure times for the flight we were scheduled to board. According to Anaki, Smaller planes are more subject to winds and other effects of weather. It's not at all uncommon for flights to be delayed because of that. Wait a second. We are sh totally sure it's not going to shake. Right? From down here on the ground, it just looks cloudy, not windy. Well, I guess it's different up there where the planes fly. Aunt Eva looked at her TV in the lounge. The weather forecast is being broadcasted, informing us that a typhoon was approaching the Kanto region. Mata typhoon, ka? Shinzoku Kaigi ga mai toshi 10 gats ten je. Kore wa shikumei da ze. Okay, so it is an annual conference. Uh, it's just for. Uh, what's the right button? This one to system. So the. Battle um, hasn't been going to it for the past six years, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna guess it has something to do with his, um, uh, what was it, contract thing he signed with the witch? I'm gonna guess it has something to do with his, um, <笑>なら冗談。姉貴が言えよ。俺が何を言っても兄貴は聞かねえよ。いやよ。私は別に10月でも困らないもの。ルドルフが台風が嫌だからって言うから提案したらって言っただけよ。俺は台風が来るのはいつものことだなって言っただけだ。お盆の時期がいいって言い出したのは姉貴だぜ。あら、去年ルドルフも言ったわよ。お盆
studying both academics and how to become a business emperor in parallel. <laughs> then, right after graduating, he got into Uncle Hideyoshi's company as his father's aide, piling up a lot of real life experience as he devoted himself zealously to his work. His great dream is to one day stand on his own and build up his own kingdom. Anarchy is the real paragon of man, sparing no effort as he strives towards his goal. It's no exaggeration to say that I really respect him. Then there's me. I'm nothing at all like Anarchy. I'm living my happy-go-lucky, idle high school life to the max. I've got no dreams for the future. <laughs> it says that would be an exclamation point at the end. Uh, I just like to sit back, stay cool, and let the money flow in. But of course, that could never happen. When Anarchy was my age, he had already formed an impressive objective and had started devoting himself towards studying for that goal. So I guess I can't compare at all. Dad just says, Sure, you can study at my company if you like cleaning toilets. <laughs> Damn it. I'm not going to be in the debt of that old bastard. I'll find my way in myself. If only willpower was all it took to become an adult. <laughs> Should I go to one of those self searching journeys that are all the rage these days? Well, it's not like I could meet off my parents for that kind of money. Right then, Uncle Hideyoshi shouted out loudly. He's a really nice person on the whole, but he does have a problem controlling the volume of his voice. When I looked over, I saw that he was greeting Aunt Rosa, who had come late. Oh, That's quite cute. マリア。<笑><笑><笑> え、と、あれ。どこに閉まったにゃ。ローザさん、お久しぶりです。マリアちゃんもお久しぶり。ご無沙汰してます、キリエ姉さん、秀吉兄さん。と、あら、バトラ君?大きくなったわね。<笑><
そうだね9歳だねマリアちゃんも元気そうでよかったよいしょ、うんうん、<笑>もう高い高いをするにはちょっと重くなってきたかな<笑>うわジョージ兄貴そりゃレディに失礼だろう<笑>俺俺がやってやるぜ高い高いはあ<笑> When I went to lift her up in Anarchy's place, Maria stiffened defensively, staring suspiciously at my face. Uh, well, oops, this one. Considering that she's nine years old and she hasn't been there for six years, the last time、uh, he saw her and she saw him was when she was three. Ah, that's right. Last time I met Maria was six years ago. She was only three years old. Of course, she doesn't remember my face. Maria chan, o v e r t e r Batora can yo? Is she a son de Morata no a s r e c h a t a How much playing could she do when she was three years old? Muridaro. Saigoni Batora to Atanoa meets no toki does it? She must know everyone's face apart from mine because she meets them every year. But I haven't had contact with the Ishiromiya family for about six years now. So it's no surprise if this nine year old girl doesn't have any memories of me. Even I can only just barely remember her being a three year old crybaby. <laughs> Maria, Batara o n i t a yo? ルドルフおじさんの息子さんわかる兄さんの息子さんが兄さんが息子さんはあはあ The ooh sound is probably her brain going into overload of that complicated explanation I guess the phrasing of that was a bit confusing Ni or Ani, the title you'd use to refer to an actual older brother, can also be a friendly honorific for a boy who's only a bit older than you. It's just like Ne or Ane, a word for big sister. Maria chan, Kare wa Batora kun. Boku to onaji i t o k o da yo. Shoji o ni chan to onaji? Silence. <laughs> 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 This part of Anarchy is what makes me really look up to him. For someone who isn't married, he's just great at dealing with kids. I'm sure he'll be an indulgent father of the future. Like his own father. Maria looked straight at me with a questioning expression, as though asking whether it was okay to call me that. Oh, yeah! Orega Batrada! Yoroskana, Maria! Batrada! Cora, Maria! Yobitske Jadamidisho! Batrada only chant to Yobina Sai. いいっすよローザおばさん細かいことは気にしないっすからまあまあリア俺とお前は名前を呼びつけ合う仲だもんな<笑> uh, Yeah you're close enough、uh, So it's a person who hasn't seen her for two thirds of her life バトラバトラバトラおやマリアマリアマリアうう<笑> We horse around for a while to make up for the six year gap in our friendship. She probably still thinks of me as nothing more than a big new friend, but things will probably work out as we get to know each other again. But I'm surprised. She's just the way I remember her being six years ago. Um. Disturbing that a three year old would look like that, I guess? <laughs>、uh, seems like people just don't change that much after all. I'm a bit happy that she's still the pure, innocent girl I remember. Her name is written as that. Of course, it's pronounced Maria. 
The third character looks like a cross, which is pretty cool. Her feelings don't usually show up on her face, so it can be difficult to know just what she's thinking, and that's just how she looks on the outside. On the inside, she's just a sweet, normal girl. And then there's Marie's mother, Aunt Rosa. She's my dad's younger sister. Rosa is written as that. Here's a name that's totally not Japanese. Sorry to say it, but her name's almost as ridiculous as dad's. I've got to respect her for not ending up as crude as he, well, screwed up as he was, is. When I think about it, all the names in my family sound foreign. Just why is grandfather so obsessed with that? Because of him, even we grandchildren have to put up with this weird naming sense. It's even more annoying since grandfather's own name is perfectly normal. Anyway, there's one thing about Aunt Rosa that's a relief compared to the other family members. The old bastard and aunt ever have this annoying urge to tease and mock people all the time. But even though she shares their blood, Aunt Rosa isn't like that at all. She has the most common sense among all the siblings. Like Uncle Hideyoshi. She's a kind aunt who will always be on the kid's side. However, possibly because she's more strict as a parent, she's not liberal with handing out spending money like Uncle Hideyoshi. <laughs> Okay, now we have the entire group of family members who are going to board for plane. At that moment, as the door had waited for all of us to, yeah, for us all to arrive, an announcement rang out through the lobby. お待たせしました。新島行き let me guess. Yep, we have two more now. The fourth child. So there is an older child as well. Um, and then the spouse, I'm going to guess, and then the child. Um, she's by far the youngest of the four siblings. It seems that this gives her a weaker position at the family conference. She manages a design company, but she's yet to start taking it seriously, and its financial situation is far from favourable. Father's identity is unknown, huh? Man can't shake off the habit of speaking like a young child. Has no interest in studying or making friends. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. And there's also the blue lines one will be there for. Rosa! Tojo Tetsuzuki Madadaro. Isonga isonga. You had to go through a metal detector before going out on the runway. Our small plane wasn't as massive as an international flight, but it was still a plane. A staff member holding a metal detector checked us all. Once all of us cleared the check, we followed the staff member out onto the runway. Come to think of it, everyone here is in the Ishiro Mia family. It's like this is reserved charter flight or something. Our group stopped in front of the entrance to the plane. Then our guide turned around and spoke, looking down at the passenger list as he did. それでは、これより それでは、お読み上げいたします。後宮秀吉様。わしからか。はい。そうだえば、雨玉あるか。さっきから探してるんだが、見つからないんや。後宮秀吉様。ハンドバッグの中よ。昨日に入ったら出すわ。<笑> I've heard that candies are a good way to protect your ears from hurting because of variations in atmospheric pressure when landing or taking off. Um, if it is, it will be because you're moving your jaws and that helps um, alleviate pressure, like popping your ears. That's probably what they're talking about. I think they're probably actually talking about um, well, the reward for Maria, but I think he's also probably a sweet tooth. <laughs> 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 
Mado give us a kiss, can I, mon? As George Anarchy said, there are apparently only two lines of seats. So, this is what a small plane is like. Yep. We are totally sure it's not gonna shake, right? Ushiromi ya George sama. Hi. Daijobu da yo, Batraku. Amari yure nai kara. Ushiromi ya Batra sama. Ah, Aniki. Amari te, dono kurai da yo. Fune kara ojite mo oyogeru kara ii ga. Hikouki wa ojita ra sore de oshimai nanda ze. もちろん客席にはパラシュートがあるんだろえねえの<笑>後ろ宮ルドルフ様ほらバトラ感動してねえでとっとと奥行け行っていい親父押さってパラシュートがねえんだよ<笑>後ろ宮キリエ様ほうらいつパラシュートがねほら仲良くじゃれてないの進む進む行ってよキリエ押すなってボンクラが進まねえんだよ後ろ宮マリア様うん<笑>進む進む後ろ宮ローザ様こらマリア静かにしなさい<笑>こちらは機長の川端です本日は新東京航空201便をご利用いただき新島空港までは約20分のフライトの予定です上空の気流が乱れているとの報告が入っています<笑>多少の揺れがあるかもしれませんので離陸後もシートベルトは外さないようにお願いいたします<笑>あ,あ兄貴シートベルト外しちゃいけない揺れってなんだよじゃあ僕なら離陸後はシートベルト外せるぜそれが外しちゃいけないってどんな揺れだよ I mean, they let you take it off, but they also recommend to stay in them as much as possible. くそー騙されたー何が揺れないだー I mean, even like jumbo jets shake. パラシュートはどこだよ And also don't have parachutes. <laughs> やっぱり俺は船が良かったはは I mean, if a boat sinks, you're not just gonna be able to swim most likely. Uh well <laughs> so I'm guessing this is like opening credits. Except it's giving the character names. Which you've already seen. <laughs> I feel like we haven't seen Kraus or um, Natsuhi. Hmm. Canon and Shannon. I'm guessing they're coming into land now. Rondo for Witch and Reason. Munekonon Naku Korun. So I will be ending it. <laughs> As I was saying, I'll be ending it here for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know any feedback you have in the comments. And uh, until next time, see ya.